Hi, and thanks for joining me. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to explain how in my district I use a Google Sheet as a leaderboard for online professional development and reporting of digital badges that are earned. Now, um, in the spirit of a little bit of competition, this leaderboard is available on our district professional development website, and it's going to be used to show which schools are in the lead and who has the most badges earned and currently what we have looks something like this these are the badges that they've earned and then across the board there's a little total that shows which site has earned which badge or which how many teachers have earned which badge at each level and then there's a total across the top showing who's in the lead and currently this school is in the lead with the most badges now there's a lot that goes behind this um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how that works and kind of walk through uh, the method to my madness and hopefully this will help somebody as they set up their own leaderboard. And of course the first thing that you need to do is set up your columns so that they're an equal width and you can just highlight the headers across these columns and then right click and hit resize columns and I'm going to set those um, to about 80. Um, and then resize them that way. And then of course you can do the same thing with your rows. And I'm gonna set the rows um, by highlighting the, the left side of the, each row and hit resize rows. And I'm gonna make those about uh, 60. And of course you can make these as big or as small as you want. Um, now to make the badges show up on the left side as I've done on this one, I actually had to uh, do a function where you insert an image from an address and that meant that I had to have my badges somewhere out on the web and in our case uh, my badges were on our website so um, you can do this any way that you want to what I did is I created on a Google site a place where my badges would show up and then I could use the address of that image on there and then have it show up here so I'm going to show you that really quickly so in this case, I have this Google site. So I'm gonna go up to the top of my Google Sites page and I'll click Insert and Image. And of course, if you have your badges saved in your drive, you can also go to Drive and Image if you wanna do that. But mine have been saved on my computer. And then I'll click Upload Images and I'll grab one of these badges here. Uh, we'll grab this one right here and it's uploading and it's gonna put it on the page. And of course, I usually save my files as ping files because they just appear on the web better than JPEGs and GIF files. And of course, once I've got my picture there, then I'll save it. And of course, since now that is on the web, then what I'll do is I will right click and I'll copy that link address and that is the address for that image and of course if you paste that into a new browser you'll see it as it appears on the web so now that i have that image address i'm going to go back over here and i'm going to click in a cell where i want that badge to appear and i'll type equals image and then open parentheses quotation marks and then i'll put in the link to that image close the quotation marks and then you're going to put a comma and after the comma if you put a number two then it will try to fit that image to the size of the cell and then I'm going to close parentheses and hit enter and there is my image and of course it is a little bit squashed so I can resize the column and the row um, so it's not quite as distorted. And of course, like I said, by putting a two there, it does fit it to the cell. So, you know, if, if you don't like the sizing, resize it and then apply that same sizing to your, the rest of your rows. And of course, right now I have, set, have that set to 96. So I'm gonna make all the rows uh, the same size as that one. And of course, now we're, we're up and running. And so I'll do that with the rest of these badges. I'll do it one more time so that you can see it. So I'm gonna add another image to this page so it can be my reference page. And I actually have this same type of page on our professional development website, but I keep it hidden 
and just use it so I can get my image uh, addresses uh, for each badge as I put them out there. And it's, it's just kind of easier that way. It gives me a point of reference when I'm putting them into the spreadsheet. So I'll save this page. And then after the page has been reloaded, I'll right click, click copy image address, go back to my spreadsheet, and the function is equals image, open parentheses, quotation marks, paste in your address, close quotation marks, comma, the number two, uh, to fit the cell size, close parentheses, enter. And so there's our badge, okay? Uh, then the next thing I did is across the top, I would put uh, the name of the school and then I'll give ourselves a little bit of a grid here so that we can make it look a little bit nicer. Okay. And so now our grid is ready to go, except what I need to happen is I, as each teacher earns a badge, I need to report it somewhere and then have the total number show up in these boxes. And so to do that, what I did is since I have two badges here, I went to the bottom of my Google Sheet and I clicked the Add Sheet icon and I, I'll add a new sheet and I'm gonna name it for the badge uh, that they earned. In this case, it was Gmail Badge. And at the top, I will put the name of the teacher and then I'll put uh, the site that they're with, okay? and to make my life a little bit easier so I don't have to type that in every time, I created a drop down menu for these cells using the data validation tool. And I used as my criteria a list of items. And so I would do central elementary, central middle, and then central high. And had that showed as a drop down list in the cell and I click save and so now each cell has a little drop down that I can choose from. And then as I put in the names I can say Mr. Smith earned a badge and Mr. Smith works with Central Elementary and then Mrs. Jones earned a badge and she works with Central High and then that way I have a collection on this page that shows each name and where they're from and um, you know, that way people can see, oh, Mrs. Smith earned a badge and she works at that site. But um, I also wanted to keep a running tally so that as it's reported back out here, it doesn't show their names, but it just shows a total. And so to do the total, uh, we employed another little function, and that is the, the count if function. And so for this badge right here, for the Gmail badge, for Central Elementary, I would say uh, equals count if, and then open parentheses. And at this point, I want it to look at this sheet, which is called Gmail badge. And so I'll put a little apostrophe, and then the name of that sheet, which is Gmail badge. And then I'll put another apostrophe there and exclamation mark and then I'm going to tell it to look in this column from B2 to B12. Now you might want to extend this further down in case you're going to have a lot of teachers earning badges but just for the sake of this I'm just doing B2 to B12. Okay so up here I'll put B2 colon B12, so that's telling it a range. It's saying the range B2 to B12 from sheet Gmail badge. And then comma, and now I'm telling it what to look for. And I'm saying in that range, in that sheet, if it sees central elementary to count it. And I have to put that in quotation marks. So I'll open quotation marks, central elm, close quotation marks, and then enter. And so it puts a two in there, because if we look back at this sheet, there were two different teachers from Central Elementary that earned that badge. It counts them up, and it tells us that the total there is two. And so if I do that for each of these, then it'll eventually start to look like this, 
with a count of how many teachers have earned that badge from each site. And so I can do the same thing for Central Middle. Uh, I'm just going to copy that function and paste it in to the cell for Central Middle School, except I need to change it so that instead of counting Central Elementary, it's counting Central Middle, and I know that there is one teacher from Central Middle that earned it. Okay, And you'll want to keep an eye on your ranges to make sure that as you copy and paste those ranges that it's still keeping the information the same. I'm going to do the same thing for Central High and make sure I change that from Central Elm to Central High and hit enter. And of course it is keeping track. I had one from each of the middle and high and then two from Central Elementary that have earned that badge. And then after that I just went through and I just added some formatting to make this look a little bit nicer. I made the font a little bit bigger. Um, might want to change this a little bit, make this font a little bit smaller in the case of the names. And then I had it so that it it centered um, and aligned everything so that it was in the middle of the cell and it just looked a lot nicer. And then the other thing that you can do is you can add some conditional formatting to the cells so that if the number goes up by a certain amount, it colors it a different color. And so with if you highlight your cells and click on conditional formatting, um, you can say um, if cell is between, and I'll say zero and two, then we'll make it yellow and hit done. And then I'll add a new rule and say if the cell is between three and five, then we'll make it uh, green and hit done. And so then if I go back and I add some more people and we'll say Fred from Central Elementary earned one and Susie from Central Elementary earned one, uh, then that bumps their numbers up a bit and now they're green and while these are still yellow, they haven't bumped that threshold where they would go from yellow to green. So um, that's just kind of a quick tutorial on how I set up this leaderboard. Um, as you can see here, I've got several badges that they've earned and each, each badge has its own tab at the bottom. Um, you just need to kind of spend some time working at this to get your formatting right so that it counts everything up properly. Um, the other thing that I did is I added a row at the top so that for the total badges earned at each site, I'm going to insert a row here so you can see that, uh, it keeps a running total. And to do that, all I did was add a sum function and I told it to sum up everything in this column. And I did the same thing for this cell, uh, sum up everything in this column. It's pretty easy to do. Um, and then I added a total badges earned by site. And of course, we'll wrap that text so it shows up a little bit better and center it so that it looks a little bit nicer on the page. And so that's a quick way to create your own little leaderboard. If you have questions on how to create that, uh, just let me know. Drop me a line at thetechiecoach.com, www.techiecoach.com. And in the next video series, we'll be talking about how I set up my courses on Google Classroom. And also look for a series on just some additional tips for Google Classroom. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.